Oh, oh yeah. Oh, give it to me. Give me with a farm. Let me see you grow those crops. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Here we are playing Stardew Valley again, and uh, I decided... Ooh, can I... Oh, it's not quite there yet. Um, I have decided uh, that today we're going to do uh, some more Ask Reddit. Um, so uh, let's start watering these plants and answering some questions. Uh, let's see. First one. What do you miss about the early internet? Ooh, that's a really interesting question. Oh, just, oh, there we go. Um, one thing I remember from pretty early on um, about the internet was uh, these... Basically, they were like... So if you've ever been to you're the man now com, you know that there are these um, sites that are basically just a picture and text and music and ooh, potato so many potatoes oh yeah all right um and they would have some sort of weird thing like the hamster dance or some sort of cow thing or maybe there's some sort of cow um and those were fun um i remember those uh, man, I used up a lot of energy just watering my plants. Um, kind of miss that. I kind of miss, this wasn't super early, but I miss YTMND and Albino Black Sheep. I was never into E-Bombs World because I was always on Albino Black Sheep and the, the thing was that, uh, the guy who created E-Bombs World, Eric Bauman, stole most of his content for the website from other websites so you didn't want to like um, nothing happened. Uh, you didn't want to like uh, e-bombs world because that would sort of put you in uh, a bad yeah the egg festival it would put you in a bad place with uh, the people on the message boards at um, like Albino Black Sheep was the main other place. Um, what's some of these, man? They're just, hey, they're just growing here, right? Heck yeah. Give me some stuff. Um, yeah, I kind of missed that. There was a simplicity to that, um, before the real toxicity of some places kind of, kind of popped up. What's up, Shane? Our heads have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. Wow, that was... They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. Wow, that was kind of weird, but you weren't being a jerk, so cool. Um, oh, I can buy all kinds of weird stuff. Why would I buy any of this? Ooh, strawberries! It takes eight days and keeps producing strawberries after that. Heck yeah! That's awesome! I'm gonna get five of these. That's so cool. Ornamental plant. No, want an ornamental plant. Dude, strawberries, man. What are you, Galileo? What, Linus? Are you wearing a chicken suit? No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. Oh, oh dear. All right. Hello, children. Hello, person. It's Penny. I've been looking forward to this festival for weeks. Maru, I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. All right, who are these people? Jody. It's a joy to see him so happy. I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. It's always my favorite part of the season. What if I? Hello, I'm a rabbit. Look at me. What's up, man? Egg. What a strange thing to eat. What? 
Oh, that's great. Um, so the next, next question is, if Satan designed a house, what would he do to make living as inconvenient as possible? Um, oh, hi there, Marnie. Compliments of my wonderful brood of hens. Um, what would he do? There would be lots of, like, overhanging, um, like, uh, uh, tables and things that you would like bump into with your thigh all the time and, and want to fall over and die. Um, that would happen a lot. Ooh, oh, hello. How are you doing there, George? What's everyone so happy about? Eggs. Why eggs? Some people just don't like eggs, I guess. That's kind of sad. Hey guys, what's up uh, here, pirate dude? Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town face to pot. I wanna go in, but I can't. <laughs> well, this is very nice, I suppose. Oh, you know what? Have I talked to all the people yet? Wait, it's... where is it? Where? Where's my shwooby do? Ah! Okay. Um, I guess I gotta make sure... Leah! Hmm, this fruit punch is unusually good. Um, okay, I gotta make sure I talk to everybody. Oh, Abigail! Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. Oh, uh, by those allergies. I've talked to Sebastian. What is it, Sebastian? I'm arranging matchsticks. Um, I think the fireplace would be, like, in the middle of the house. And just be like, hey, welcome, here's the fireplace. It's getting a little hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> um... Hello, child. I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. Tell Vincent to quit being such a little butt. I'm so excited! And I just can't hide it! Uh, okay, I've talked to Gus. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, all kinds of eggs. Who, who are you? Pam! I put something nice into the punch. That is terrifying. Um, Clint. Is there any more food? I talked to Caroline. I've never talked to Caroline before. I feel like that's everybody. Is there anybody around here I haven't talked to? Hello, it's Granny. Tradition connects us with both the past and the future. It's comforting. Try to eat at least three eggs every day, man. This festival is all right, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. Yo, what's up? Hey! What's up, Willie? <laughs> Until summer rolls around and the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. <laughs> Alright, well, this has been fun, I suppose. Um, goodbye. Oh, wait. Well, is something else supposed to happen? Or, like... I bought those strawberries that I'm kind of excited about. Talk to Demetrius. I think that's it. Oh, hey there, person! Harvey. Harvey, Harvey Dent. Is that broken? Is that it? I think that's everybody. Alright, well. Goodbye. I don't care to be here anymore. See ya. Got all the things I wanted. I want... <laughs> I'm a recluse. Yes. The egg festival is over. What? Why? Why is it so late? What? Oh, that doesn't count towards greeting people? That stinks. Oh well, I guess I'll go to bed now. I, you know, what else am I gonna do? Kitty! Hello, kitty. I love you, kitty. Let's go to sleep for the night. Everybody go to sleep for the night. Plink! Your progress has been saved. Alright. Well, got a hot load of nothing done. Ooh, got me some cauliflower, though. Oh, yeah. Dude! Look at all the stuff I grew! How awesome is my life? That is that is really great. Man. Well. 
let's water things. Nope, that's not what I clicked. Stop watering things that don't matter. <laughs> okay, so these are my fertilizer uh, wild seeds. Oops. Um, so those ones should be like really bomb. And I'm gonna put my strawberries near the scarecrow. So I gotta do something. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. That's what that's what I'm gonna do with my strawberries. Um, okay, so fertilizer. Okay. And then strawberry. Baller. Refill my watering can. What's a great movie with an unnecessary sequel? Uh, Fletch. Um, I've actually never seen Fletch 2. I think it's called Fletch Lives. Um, and, and I've heard it's not bad. Oh, I've got a letter. On a Sunday. How are you doing, sweetie? I've missed you so much since you left. I hope the farming life is everything you hope for. Oh, yay, cookies. Put the cookie down! I got a cookie. Nice. Um, maybe, oh no, wait. I don't want to put that in there. Great. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to back to the beach because remember that was there was that section that uh, I could. Uh, walk to because I built that bridge. Um, other great movies with unnecessary sequels. Um, I I don't know that The Mummy was a great movie, but um, I don't think the sequels really mattered. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, it's Penny. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, so... I'm a big fan of the Mission Impossible franchise, but Mission, Mission Impossible 2 was pretty mediocre. So I would say that, like, well, I don't know that the sequel ended up being unnecessary. It certainly was the weakest of, of all of the subsequent Mission Impossible movies. 3 was really good. Um, oh, yeah, I got some stuff. 3 was really good. Um, Ghost Protocol was really cool. The newest one was so much fun. I saw it with my parents, and it was a blast. It was really, really fun. Can I chop this up? I guess not. Okay, huh? Well. This is the beautiful sounds of the ocean. Hello, Fati's down here, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this is Sapia. What if I go? I'm gonna go fishing off of this one. Um. Let's see if. Oh, oh. oh man, come on. I want it. I didn't get the treasure though. That, a one inch sardine was that hard to catch? Get out of my life. Oh my gosh. Um, ooh, here's a good one. You, ooh, that wasn't very good. You wake up in the 1400s, the dark ages, with nothing but the clothes on your back and your knowledge. The only way you get back to the present is by surviving a full time year in that period. What do you do? Well, um, I try not to die of the plague. <laughs> um, oh. Come on, come on. Yay! Um, 
What else do I do? I think I'm gonna just try to avoid everybody. Like, I- because no one is going to speak any language that I speak. Um, it's the 1400s no matter where I end up. Even if I end up in, say, like, France, and I know very little French. Um, French at that time is not like French now. Uh, it would not be helpful. Um, no one speaks English, really. I, I mean, there is English, but it's like Canterbury Tales English. So maybe if I ended up like in England, but I think everybody would just think I was wild. You know, they would they would attack me or something. Um, yeah, I would be super scary to them. I wish I could do. I think it's uh, is it a Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court? I think is the. Um, is the book where somebody goes back in time and he like impresses everybody with he knows when like an eclipse is gonna happen and he predicts it and then everybody thinks he's like a wizard or whatever. You're a wizard, Harry. Um, made some made some cash there. Oh, 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 baby. Okay. Heck yeah. Oh, bait. Cause the fish to bite faster. Interesting. I already have the bamboo pole, right? That's what I have. Fiberglass rod. Use in the water to catch fish. What does that little hook thing mean? Is it like a better rod, maybe? Oh, you know what I want to do first? I, I want to go... I don't have copper, though. I'm going to figure out... Because I've got the money, but I don't know if I, if I have what I need to upgrade my axe because I need copper. Um... Yeah, I don't know, because I don't know enough about, like, I, I wouldn't be able to, like, impress people with my knowledge of things that they would care about. I want the carpenter, I want the blacksmith, there we go. Um, yeah, I would just stay in the woods and just try to survive um, and not run into anybody. I feel like that would be my best bet. Um, let's see if I can upgrade tools. Copper axe. I don't have five copper bars. Where am I gonna get copper bars? Shop. Copper ore. Could be smelted, but who does smelting? Can I smelt here? Okay. It's made from iridium alloy. Ooh, processed geodes. I do have some geodes. Let's give him those. Oh, it's just a rock. What about this one? Magic. Celestine. Uh, what is that? Earth something. And, ooh. All right. Maybe I'll go. Who's Who's got the place where he likes to, Is is he in the library? Maybe he's in the library. Uh, I think it's Gus who likes it when you give him cool things. Donate to the museum. New reward. And that's it. Collect rewards. Ooh, nice. All right, hey, I will take that. That is really cool. I donated some things and I got a bunch of cauliflower seeds, which would have cost me like, I don't know, like 400 gold. I gotta find out where I get copper. Can I buy copper at the store? Let's go down. And I gotta get these cauliflower in the ground before the end of the day. I just bought these shoes, man. Whatever, dude. I don't care. You're kind of vain. You're so vain. Whose house is this that I am in front of? Of the mayor. Mayor's menor. Rock on, dude. Um. What's next? What old fad needs to come back? Um. Democracy. <laughs> No, um, 
A good old set out here with something. I'm running low on bream. I don't know what that is. Sell me iron bars. Seeds for sale. Jody, I'm taking the day off. Good for you. Beans to some Ow. Um Parsley. Um Yeah, dude. Okay, well. Huh. Ooh, 28 days. There's fruit in the fall, only grows at the eighth round. The tiles are empty. I do wish I kind of had that, but man, wait, I know there was some place that I could buy bars, and I just don't know where. Can, you think I can buy them at uh, Spandango Mart or whatever it's called? Jo Jojo Mart? I like Spandango Mart better. <laughs> Yo, what's up, girl? Over. Oh, it's across this bridge. Go to um, Bunky Mart. Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. Okay. Life's better with Joja. Welcome to Joja Mart. How are you doing? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a choice. Okay. Okay, you're weird. Um, wallpaper, parsnip seeds. Wait, so you just have all the same stuff. Wait, can I plant rice? Press start. Okay, well. I don't... I gotta find iron bars, man. Or, not, copper bars. Where do I find copper bars? Copper bars. I want to find the copper bars. Who would have them? Probably not the community center. I gotta figure out how to, like... Marnie's Ranch! Yeah, I guess I gotta figure out how to- ooh, sewer pipe? Ruined house. Adventures killed. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do that. Oh, what's up? Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Okay. Yeah, whatever, man. I gotta go plant these. Uh, get these in the ground and use my fertilizer. Oh, hey there, guy. What are you, a guy or something? Struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. Oh, man, I'm, I'm sorry. That's the worst. I don't know why I did that. That was kind of a waste of energy and time. Uh, old fad that needs to come back. I, I never answered that. I don't know. Um, slap bracelets are a fad. I don't want them to come back. Um, how many is it? Okay, I have nine cauliflower seeds. So I need to prepare nine plots. So one, two, Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Two, three. Okay, now I just gotta water them. There we go. All right, everything's wonderful there. Um, I think I threw a bunch of stuff in there already. 
Kirk is my pet! Wish I could upgrade more. Um, ooh, hey. Maybe something to ground there. Look! Clay! I found the clay, yeah. Okay, well, let's do some McFishing. Max! I'm gonna name my next cat Max. I'm waiting a long time. It's getting dark. It's getting very, very dark. Uh, well, I picked a poor time to go fishing. Oh! It's a broken CD. Alright, that's no fun. Um, nothing much happening. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Here. Um, let me throw my broken CD in there. And, uh, that's it. That's everything I want to do. Um, alright, well, let's figure out what I got. Um, go to sleep. Oh, yeah! Cool, this is what I wanted. I wanted to level up. Uh, I can make a stone fence. I can make a mayonnaise machine? I don't know what that is. Um... I guess I can make mayonnaise, <laughs> um, and I can make a sprinkler. Uh, I'm better with my watering can and with my hoe. Ooh, I got better. I can make bait now. That's awesome. Sweet. Holy cow, I made so much cash from those potatoes. That's awesome. Those were potatoes that I got just from finding seeds out in the wild and planting them. Oh, that's great. I cannot wait until these things that I'm growing with the fertilizer come up. Oh, this is great. This is great. Life is great. Um, feeling really good. I think we'll uh, we'll call it here for this episode of Pete Plays. Um, and uh, I don't know. We'll just keep farming things, man. We're just having a good time here on uh, Pete Plays at Pete Plays Farm. So, uh, yeah. See you guys then. Bye.